Uh, Adrian, what are your views uh, on the performance tonight? Um, obviously delighted to get the three points. Delighted that, you know, the quick turnaround is never easy. Um, but I, as, as I said to the players, just I thought that we were a bit like extremes. When we were good, we were excellent. Some of this, our movement with the ball was, you know, and I thought Ish did some great stuff, getting in really good pockets. And obviously it's nice for Ray to get back on the score sheet and Timu. And then I thought we were really, really sloppy with the ball at times. And we gave them too many opportunities. And I think nearly every opportunity that they had, I'm trying to recall a few of them, was when we had comfortable possession of the ball and we turned it over. And um, Danes made a big save at 3-0 to him. When well, he goes to 3-1 with 20 minutes left, you've got a game on your hands again. And, you know, that was, that was the only disappointment. Given where you guys currently sit in the standings and the, the opponent you played tonight, coming in, did you feel like it had to be three, sort of three or bust tonight, three points or bust? Well, no, we have, we have 30. Before tonight's game, we have 30 points to play for. It's an awful lot of points. You only need to win two or three games. We've got two or three games in hand. On, we've got three games in hand on one team, I think, um, sporting. We've got a couple of games in hand on a couple of others. So, hey, at this stage of the season, they're all important, but... Obviously, I think the important thing for us has been to get back to winning ways at home. You mentioned you moved the ball pretty well tonight. You opened up their back line a decent amount tonight and yeah. slipped behind them a yeah. lot of times. What did you see that enabled you guys to just open them up the way? Our movement, combination play, timing of getting into little pockets. Um, I thought, especially down the right-hand side in the first half, um, I thought Asani was outstanding again. Um, I thought Ish for... You know, he's, he's had a couple of weeks with not doing much. Was terrific. His understanding of the way that, that we want, we want, I want him to play, is uh, outstanding at times. Makes defenders and fullbacks make difficult decisions. Uh, with where he's braced tonight, he moved into a tie with Darwin Quintero for all-time goals uh, for this club since 2017. Obviously, they're different type of players, but any sort of parallels or comparison between the two? Well, both incredibly talented. Um, you know, number 10s who affect the game. You know, I, I say it all the time, the, the players that cost the most money are always the ones who score and make goals. And Ray, when he's playing well, does exactly that. You leapt over that playoff line in the eighth place. Yeah. Do you hope that's behind you now? Well, you, you hope so, but there's a long way to go again. You know, a lot of points still to play. We've got a lot of games against teams in and around us. Um, I said... It'll probably go to the last few games, and it probably will again. It, ne it nearly always seems to go to the, you know, the last match of the season. We've had a couple of them. I think there had three of them, and um, hopefully it won't be that tight. But I think it's going to be tight all the way down the stretch. You mentioned Ish and his playing time, perhaps being a little bit sporadic. But what mm. does that say about him to just step into the starting lineup and play the way that? He well, did I, I, one of my first texts I got when we signed him was from Bruce Arena, who said, "You've got a, not only a great kid, you've got a really, really good player, and if you can keep him fit and healthy, he'll do really well for you." So, and that's uh, um, that's proved everything that Bruce said because you know even in training, he's he's a really talented footballer. Rosales played left back mm -hmm. tonight. You know, he's played three or four different positions for yeah. you guys. Um, you know, did you know his versatility when you guys got him, or is that something he's sort of picked up or that you've learned about his game well, since you got him? We actually, when the, I think it was the, on the tw was it the World Cup or the Olympics on the twenty when we first spotted him, he played centre midfield in the game, then went to wide left, and then ended up at fullback. And he's done all that with for us. Another kid who gets the game, great appetite to play, um, really good left foot, wants to join in. You know, when I when I look at the likes of him and Nasani and Sang Ben and people forgetting that Mendes only twenty three, you know, we've we've got some really good young players. And I'm I'm I really enjoy working with them. You know, we we've got a nucleus here of some really good young players that I think over the next few years are gonna blossom into really top MLS players. Uh Timu got off his scoring yeah. draw tonight. Uh, he's made so many runs yeah. kind of off the back shoulder there and was rewarded for yeah. that one. Was there are there times this year where you haven't been able to find him on those runs as much as you'd like? Um, occasionally, I think. But, you know, as, as I said to you in the week, I think that if I look at all the chances he's got himself or we've created for him, he could easily be sitting on six to seven goals. But at the end of the day, he makes them runs because he's made them all his career. 
as long as you keep making them, getting in the right spots, eventually you'll score goals. I know this is a problem you probably would like to have, but with Ish playing the way that he did, like yeah. you were just mentioning, does it make you think twice now about how you try to maybe incorporate him in the lineup a little bit more? Or how does how does the night like tonight for him to well, work I, going forward? Um, the one thing I, I do like is having good players, and you can't have too many of them. Yeah, you know, so, hey, it's timely that he's come back in, played like he has with Bongi's injury. You know, we got Bongi to come back and, Maybe this weekend, or if not, certainly the week after. Um, yeah, we've got we've got an abundance of some really good young attacking pieces. I think with Ish and Rosales and Dotson, given that you've been missing such a crucial piece in Bongi, how satisfied are you with the wing play over those last couple of games? Without it's been excellent, him? it's been excellent, but it's just not the wing play. You know, you have to do both sides of the ball. The way the game is now, teams see you so much and they're so well organized that if you only want to play when you've got the ball. It's very difficult to get a, get a game consistently in a team. You've got to do both sides of the game. You've got to do the dirty work, which at times, you know, is working in both halves of the field. And them two never shirk of doing that job and taking that responsibility on. So many chances for Pookie since, uh, since the Houston game, eight, nine games ago. What do you hope maybe the one might lead to now? Well, you do, you, you know, but we you know I spoke to him and said, listen, you've just got to keep doing what you've done throughout your career. But with goal scorers, that can start you off on a run and get your confidence going again. And we have to hope that that's what's going to happen because if we want to be where we, I think we can be, we're going to need him to score maybe five or six goals between now and the end of the season. Uh, status update on Bongi as it pertains to Saturday specifically? Um, Saturday, day to day, maybe. If not, hopefully, certainly the week after. Thank you, Jen.